hello, the successful man. What does it mean? It means you're speaking to a man who has lots of confidence and is certain and carries their message well. And how do you do that? Well, it's a balance between your message, your mind, the way you think, and your voice. Have you ever met somebody who sounds one way but looks another way? Have a look at this video. Hey, what's up, Dave? Oh, you're from around these parts, eh? Yeah, I'm from Saskatchewan. What's up, Ghana, eh? And have you ever met somebody who has this voice tone that you're just wondering? and creating this image or this picture in your mind about this person and then only to look around and notice that it's somebody completely different to what you had imagined. Check this out. So I think even from back here, you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. Favorite movie? Favorite movie, Dark Knight. Okay. To do your best Joker wife in series. You want me to do it in a deep voice or the Joker voice? Joker voice. The successful man has a voice that matches their presence and it's congruent. So when they're speaking, they're able to change their voice depending on what they're saying. So they're not sounding the same all the time because when you're sounding the same all the time, well, that's actually not natural. But did you know that sometimes we're actually stuck? The reason why we sound the same is because we've got no other choice. So have a look at this video, and this is a, a video of Tony Robbins at the moment, who, who's really pretty much forcing his voice to make a sound. And you can hear that you can just barely understand the words as he's speaking. And it's very unfortunate because his message is so passionate and his message is so important to, uh, to the success of other people that um, it actually is almost impeding upon the delivery of that message. So just check this out. $100 and I'm here not able to eat. I'm down to like $25, $26. And I'm saying to him, calling him and he's not returning my call. And I just need some money and he's ignoring me. I didn't ignore him then, so I'm pissed. I'm frustrated. In the midst of all this, I'm also pragmatic. A successful man is a man who is congruent with his mind, his message, and his voice. So when he goes into the world and speaks, or into a relationship and speaks, he speaks with a sense of altogetherness. So to me, that's a congruency. His voice, his message, and his body suits what I hear, see, and feel. And what I've noticed over time is that what affects our success is that we say one thing, but we sound another way. Or we say something, but we don't really mean it. And there's a part of our mind holding us back. So a successful man to me is somebody who is on to making sure the mindset is clear, the message is passionate and appropriate for the people they want to speak to. And the voice carries their ultimate presence and success into the world. Most of us are hiding behind something else. A lot of us are not transparent. We're afraid to be transparent. We're afraid that somebody's going to find out we're not good enough. Or perhaps we just think that um, we're not going to be accepted. We're going to be rejected. So when, when you're presenting yourself and you're not being genuinely natural, uh, your voice is going to show that up. So what we want to be doing is making sure that our voice and our message is all matching and carrying that message that we're here to bring and that we want to make a difference to the world with. So, so when we speak, our voice actually carries our presence and the authenticity of that presence. So it's really important that we are comfortable with who we are and that we're okay with not trying to be perfect. We don't have to be perfect. We just have to be sincere in what it is that we're here to deliver. To me, what a successful man is, a successful man is the one that speaks from his heart, is a man who speaks from his experience, is a man that speaks with authenticity and honesty. And to me, that would mean that your yes is yes and your no is no. And that this man is comfortable to share what it is that they know and what they don't know. They can say, 
I don't know and it's okay and I'll get back to you. Or they can say, I do know and this has been my experience. To me, that tonality is in your voice. If I don't hear that in a man when I'm talking to him, I feel that that man lacks confidence. And when that man lacks confidence to me, what he's here to do to represent just comes crashing down. So it's really important whether you're comfortable or not comfortable in what it is that you're saying, that you're honest about it. And your voice tone will carry that truthfulness in it. So in your voice, you can hear if the person is being honest or not, whether they're holding back or whether they're not. So when you're listening to yourself, listen in for those things. Just notice, is your voice being confident? Are you being real with what you're saying? Is this voice that you have representing who you are? Or does it actually take away from who you are? Is it actually not showing your personality? Are you being one thing and sounding like another? Or are you comfortable with who you are and what it is you're here to do. The successful man is a man who knows what he's here to do. He knows how to speak and how to be authentically real. The successful man sounds successful, not only looks successful. And what do I mean by that? Is that their voice matches their body. Their voice matches their personality. So how do you know that? Well, you wouldn't know that. Most of us have never listened to ourselves back. We're afraid of our own voice and we carry the sounds and the influences of our family. And often we've broken away from our family and our tribe and we've wanted to become our own man, our own woman. But yet we carry the sound of our tribe. We carry the sound of our heritage. And some of us have had to address that. To be successful, we've had to break through some of those barriers. I call them barriers because the voice and the tonality that we carry is also um, restricting us in many ways because it carries the sound of our tribe that we no longer want to be part of. So it's really, really important that we understand that we need to step out and be different, be unique, and also check your voice tone and see if it matches what it is that you're here to say and do and be. Thank you for listening.